My name is Alexia Somerville and I'm a fashion stylist and I'm going to talk to you today about various tips to do with styling. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you today about how to wear leather jackets. Um, leather jackets came to the fore, especially in fashion around the kind of 1950s, especially with film screen icons like James Dean and the kind of rebel look that he portrayed, uh, but also with films, probably one of the most famous that you all know is Grease. Um, you can probably, I mean, I would like to define the kind of like leather jacket looks into three different camps in a way. There's the biker look, and you probably end up thinking immediately of Mad Max and the Hell's Angels, or James Dean and those kind of characters. Um, then the aviator look, which is huge this season. Um, lots of things to do with much chunkier leather, lots of kind of um, padding around the neckline and sheepskins, etc. Things that are a little bit more kind of top gun for that particular look and the Terminator, what I like to call the kind of futuristic Terminator, which is a lot slicker and a lot darker in particular look. So a couple of the examples that I'd like to show you and talk to you about are this particular one. This is a classic biker style jacket and it's from a label called Bluebird, uh, which usually do kind of like super premium denim wear. But they've done an incredibly expensive style kind of leather, um, you know, textured leather which has the kind of classic zip along here and the biker features along the front. Now, with things like this, you can end up kind of wearing them with, you know, really super slim fitting jeans, um, white t-shirt, um, white vest, which would kind of make it quite chic. Other than that, if you had a black biker jacket of this side, which is quite popular, um, Something like a black roll neck worn underneath would kind of like really kind of define it. So you can wear a slim fitting roll neck also under the biker style jacket. Um, leather jackets are really good to be, um, well traditionally obviously worn with jeans, but also really slim fitting leather trousers. But also go for a kind of like best quality leather jacket. You don't want anything that's kind of like too full or will make you have too much of a big crotch or backside when you're on that, unless you're actually going to be driving one of these huge kind of motorbikes. Um, but just to kind of get the look, uh, accessories that work well with um, leather jackets of all kinds would be um, chunky jewellery. Um, I, would, I would say preferably silver jewellery for things like this. It could be a little dog tag, it could be a kind of like a chain element, it could be just a ring or something like that. Um, also shades as well which kind of works a lot for the third look, which is the Terminator look. Also works for Aviator as well. Think Top Gun, think kind of Ray, classic Ray-Ban Aviators. But um, dark shades, etc. This particular jacket, which is one of my favorites, is a Prada jacket. And it's almost, it's, it's made from very thin, fine leather. So, and it's cut more like a shirt. So it's very fit, it's very fitted and it has pockets along the breast but it gives a little smarter um, look, a little harder edged look to a kind of smart casual look to this. One thing to remember about leather jackets is that they are animal skin and they need to be protected especially if you're um, out in all sorts of weather. The best way to kind of care for and protect um, your leather jackets as well and they can be picked up from any kind of like a shoe repair shop or a good department store. Uh, things like those kind of shoe shine buffs in the kind of with a little sponge foam, but don't get the ones that actually have the black colouring in it. You need to get something that's a shoe, a leather protector to just gently kind of rub over the leather to help waterproof it. And that's how you look after your leather jackets.